you have had a long uh, you know, career at BC Cancer Agency, and you have collaboratively worked with Dr. Alfred Bucking um, from Germany. Can you throw a little bit more light on your uh, on the work you guys are doing right now? Well, first of all, I'd, I'd like to say that to me, from the cytopathology, uh, not only as a practicing cytopathologist, but foremost as a scientist cytopathologist, uh, there is nobody equal to Professor Becking uh, in Germany, in my ju in my judgment. Mm -hmm. in, in many ways, he uh, I, I've been his friend for over 40 years now, 35 for sure, so it's coming to me. And in many ways, he was ahead of his time. There were, there were thoughts on these congresses that you wouldn't believe. I fought with him too, with one exception, that during the scientific debate during the day, uh, we had fairly hard words to each other. But by 5 o'clock, we were drinking beer together. So we were very good friends, but critical to each other. Mm -hmm. But I, I have to give hands down just to what he has done in this world of quantitative cytopathology. There is no equal. He's got books. The, name a tissue. He's on top of it, okay? So I'm very privileged, okay, to be his friend and colleague working together. This is, no, this is what about Professor Becking is all about. Professor Becking has been instrumental in getting the standardized standardizations done in the in, in Europe way back in 1998. And uh, do you want to throw some uh, some some light on that experience? And uh, yeah, he's, he 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 is a member of a team that standardized mm -hmm. uh, the performance of digitizing equipment. That there is a certain quality of uh, data, right? And I would go technical details, mm -hmm. and, and this uh, European group has put the standards to this, and then of course then companies had that followed that that performance, and and so I knew of them. I was never direct part, but of course I followed and and agreed with whatever they ever done, and and always make sure that this was implemented wherever I was involved, whether in our homemade systems or later on when, when, when Motic was involved. And in fact, um, one of, this is how it actually started, that when at one point I met Professor Metting of all places in a conference in China, and at that time he was kind of a, unhappy in a way because he could do one off, but not many. And I said, well, why don't we work with Motic? I know them. They would probably be receptive to that. And the CEO of Motic, Richard Young, uh, is a visionary, uh, I must say, and a very good friend of mine. And uh, we kind of convinced him. And at one point, we were in Germany. He said, OK, Bronco, you're a project manager. Don't bother me. Make sure it happens. And then three years later, he, Professor Becking had one system, which is now made in many evolved copies, and it's commercially available. And uh, that's how it happened. Uh, so, but it's it's implementing all the recommendations uh, that was that European Commission. Professor the EASCP, yeah, 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 yeah. 